Good morning. Welcome to Storytime. We're going to read a book about the Library Dragon. And it's by Carmen Deed. And it's illustrated by Michael White. Sunrise Elementary School had a big problem. The new librarian, Miss Lottiscales, was a real dragon. Miss Lottiscales was hired to guard the library. She took her job seriously. Hundreds of new clean books replaced the old smudged ones. The shining gems nearly line, neatly lined the shelves of her library lair in perfect order. Number 3982 and the, in the 500s is absolutely no fiction among biographies. Miss Lottiscale, do not touch the books for display only. And this one says, do not cross dragon line. The book stops here. Miss Lotta Scales. Pencils and claw sharpener. She kept a fiery eye out to make sure no one removed any books from the shelves. Her motto was, a place for everything and everything has that's where it stays the very thought of sticky fingers touching and clutching and pawing and clawing and smearing and tearing her precious books just made her hot under the collar she had an ace 500 book detector miss scales thought the way some books spread an unfounded fear of dragons was positively inflammatory. Books had d direct cruelty to dragons should never have been published in the first place. She got so fired up about this she just discarded the books. She didn't like. She incinerated them. The kids watched in awe. Well, that settles that, whispered Albert Hoops. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And that Miss Scales is a real dragon, all right. Was she doing a book burning? I think so. PTA topic, dragons throughout history, the myth, the mystery, speaker, Sir White Knight, F alarmed, pull tail. Not surprising, the kids at Sunrise Elementary School began to dread Library Day. It wasn't long before the teachers stopped sending children to the libraries. They kept coming back singed. They were a little toasty, maybe. Attention, non-dragons, no smoking in the library. First, the principal tried to reason with Miss Scales, but his plan backfired. Instead of cooling her down, he just flamed, fanned the flames. And finally, did, finally didn't forget who does... And finally, don't forget who does the firing, Miss Scales, he sputtered, the principal. Oh, really? And who does the firing? asked Miss Scales. With a glare and a flare that caught his tie on fire. Now cut that out, said the principal, as he waved the smoke out of his face. No smoking in the library. Miss Lottiscale said drearily. The principal fumed. The teachers were incinerated. Worst of all, the children 
had missed reading and story time for weeks. Their grades were going up in smoke, so the teachers formed a delegation, and after a trip to the cafeteria kitchen to fortify themselves, they paid a visit to Mrs. Scales. What do you think they're going to tell Mrs. Scales? The kids want to read? Let's see. Miss Lotta Scales smoldered as she listened to sweet Miss Lemon, the kindergarten teacher. And most importantly, Mrs. Scales, dear the children, and most importantly, Miss Scales, dear the children, Miss Storytime, Storytime, Schmory Time, blew Miss Lotta Scales. Why, if I let the children touch these books with their goopy fingers and snotty noses, this library wouldn't last a week. And she stared so furiously at the teachers that they threw down their weapons and clanged out, all except for Mrs. Lemons. You know, Miss Scales, we all love the books as much as you do, but the library belongs to the children. Good night, Miss Lemon. You slay me. <laughs> Why, the idea of story time is simply medieval. Now the PTA sign has changed. Emergency meeting. Topic, dragons now. The myth, the mystery. Speaker, Sir White Knight. That Miss Lemons is a spitfire, <laughs> chuckled Miss Scales. But she had spewed so much smoke and fire at Miss Lemon that she had to lie down for a nap. She was really dragon. In fact, she was burnt out. Being a library dragon can be such a lonely job, she murmured sadly to herself as she heaved a heavy sigh and closed her scaly lids. <sighs> that was that very moment that Molly Bridmeyer accidentally wandered into the library. Molly was on a quest. She had lost her glasses and couldn't see anything without them unless it was right under her nose. She stumbled onto a bookshelf, and a book fell into her lap. She never saw the sign, Do not touch the books for display only. It was over her head, so she held this one right under her nose and began to read out loud. First, a class of second graders in line for the water fountain heard her and tippy-toed in to listen. Then the fourth graders outside playing kickball heard a story being read and crowded around the window. Speak up! Someone said. Molly Brickmeyer spoke up. Words of story time in the library spread like wildfire at Sunrise Elementary School. Everyone was listening, even the library dragon, and her ears were burning. Slowly, Miss Lotta Scales rose up from behind the bookshelf and looked at the boys and girls hurled around Molly. She had never seen anything quite like it. The children looked like they belonged here. I love you, Snuff, Molly read on as they all the children listened. Give me that book, Molly Brickmeyers, roared Miss Lotta Scales. Molly held the book cheerfully towards the scaly blur. Miss Lotta Scales took the book and eyed it suspiciously. As it hung from her claw, 
First she sniffed it and then she checked the spine for cracks. And then she checked each page for stains and smudges. Do you think she found any? I don't think so. Finally, Miss Scales looked around at the children and cleared the smoke from her throat. <coughs> now, where were we? Why, yes, I love you, Snuff. At first, the children were too nervous to listen. But when Molly Brickmeyer climbed up into Miss Lotta Scales' lap and didn't get scorched, they relaxed. You're warm, whispered Molly. Don't interrupt. Everyone was listening so intently that they almost missed it. As she read, Miss Lotta Scales' scales began to fall onto the linoleum floor with a clickety clack, clickety clack. What was happening? Clickety clack until all that was left was Miss Lottie, librarian and storyteller, sitting on a mountain of yellow, green, and purple scales, with Molly Brickmeyer, dragon slayer entrepreneur, on her lap. The rest of the children warmed up to Miss Lottie right away. But then, every librarian needs to be a little bit of a dragon, or else, who would guard the books? The end of the tale. I hope you enjoyed The Library Dragon. It's one of my favorites. Have a great day. Bye.